Good evening, WestCon. This is senior student meteorologist Eric Gal, and thank you very much for tuning into this latest edition of Eric's Weather Outlook. As of 4.30 p.m. on the Midtown campus, we do have a line of clouds just to the south and southwest of us, and unfortunately, that is in association with an approaching storm system that will be affecting our region tonight. More on that in a bit. But as of 5 p.m. in Danbury, we are at a temperature of 53 degrees, a humidity of 59%, with winds out of the east at 12 miles per hour, so it certainly is already a little bit breezy out there. Those wind speeds will continue to increase as we go into the overnight hours with moderate to possibly heavy rain at times. We'll take a look at your Halloween outlook forecast to see if we do stay dry for trick-or-treating. And then next, the middle of next week, we do look to see to have a massive cool down. The National Weather Service has already issued a wind advisory for the southern portion of Connecticut, and that's because we expect winds to be stronger down there than they will be here in Danbury. Temperatures off to the eastern portion of the state are in the lower 50s, and it's looking off to the western portion. We are in the lower 50s and the middle 50s in Bridgeport and New York City, those spots being the warmer spots. Here's that storm system I mentioned earlier. The massive clouds is moving off to the north, and with those clouds is the associated rain that will be moving into the region tonight. This is associated with a massive, with a large mass of low pressure controlling much of the eastern coast. Just looking off to the west, we do have a rather large mass of high pressure that is dominating the middle of the country, and that is providing some beautiful weather for the mid Midwest. Mostly sunny, if not sunny skies throughout the region, and we'll actually be able to enjoy those conditions for your day on Monday. But first, we have to get through this round of rain. And there's the rain associated with that low pressure, the strongest bands of rain being relegated to the northeast portion of the system, and those heavier bands of rain will move into the region by tonight. So for tonight, we do have a low of 48 degrees, and those temperatures will actually be increasing through the overnight hours with windy conditions. An east wind 10 to 20, gusting to 30 to 35 miles per hour with that moderate to heavy rain. On Sunday, the rain will become more scattered in nature, but we could still see a moderate burst of rain here and there with temperatures at around 57 degrees with an east wind shifting to a southeasterly flow at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So here's Friday as of 8 p.m. That mass of rain is moving into the region and will be quite persistent throughout the night. It will become a little more scattered for your day on Saturday, but it could still be moderate at times. But then Saturday night and early Sunday morning, a new area of low pressure forms and brings heavy rain to the region early Sunday morning and Saturday night. And here's Danbury right here. A heavier pocket of rain certainly can't be ruled out within that same night. But during your day on Sunday, that low pressure does move out to the north, and we are just left with a few scattered showers throughout the day. But luckily, it looks like we will dry out for the nighttime hours, and I'll show you in a bit. So for your Halloween forecast, we will be at a high of 60 degrees with that chance of a passing shower or two with mostly cloudy skies. And then we do dry things out for your Halloween night. A low of 48 degrees with west winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. So it's certainly looking great for anyone doing trick-or-treating or any other Halloween festivities during that night. So Saturday, again, we do have those periods of rain with a high 57. Halloween, mostly cloudy with those AM showers, but they should, the shower threat will decrease as we go throughout the day. And the Monday is definitely looking like the pick of the week, if you ask me, with mostly sunny skies and temperatures around 61 degrees. We'll decrease those temperatures Tuesday, 56 degrees with partly sunny skies. And then Wednesday, a lot chillier with a high around 50 degrees, but we do remain dry with partly cloudy skies. Please don't forget to follow us on the social media platforms. I'm senior student meteorologist Eric Elf. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a happy Halloween.